<laughs> it's amazing what can happen to you when you're waiting for a bus. Well, our next guest can vouch for that. She caught a ride to start, and please welcome Australian actress, model, and Bond girl, Virginia Hay. Good morning, Virginia. Good morning. How are you? I'm very well. You got discovered you. on a bus corner, did you? I did, at a bus stop by Wendy Adnam, who was a fashion editor for, I think it was Mode or um, Pole or something at the time. Yeah. And uh, I was going to art school. And she walked up to me, and she's about that big, and she tapped me on the shoulder, and I looked down, and she said, uh, are you a model? I said, no. She said, uh, do you want to be a model? I said, no. And she said, what about earning a little bit of money on the weekend um, and doing some modelling? And I thought, why not? <laughs> <laughs> you know, give me a little bit of pocket money while I was studying. Yeah. Did you miss the bus? <laughs> yeah, I missed the bus. I said that to a girl one day, she's make my face. <laughs> oh, <laughs> now, I often why. see people in the street, I'd like to go over and say, hey, do you want to audition? Because you really do see them. But yeah, you feel embarrassed, true. you go over, you think, oh, you know, yeah. you'd be a bit of a dill. It sounds different. like a line, Well, it, it yeah. does sound like a line. You see, unfortunately, she, being a woman, it was okay, I yeah. took her seriously. But if I came up and said to you that, you'd hit me, wouldn't yeah. you? I would. Would you? Yeah. You'd find a type, mate. But you've been around the world through modelling, haven't you? Oh, I have. Look, it was fantastic. I think I was, well, from what they say, I was supposed to be a first model that did work internationally from mm -hmm. this country and that was in um, 1971 I first took off and modelled around the world and didn't really stop until about 1982. Yeah. So you got 10 years out of it which 10 was great. really good years out of it yeah. What happened to the art course? Went by, um, the bye. Bye. Went by the bye. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I think I turned into a bit of a mercenary yeah. because money's so good when you're modelling and of course yeah. travelling's great as a model because there's no language barrier. That's right. Mm -hmm. You don't have to talk, you have to do anything. Yeah. Is it hard? It must be hard life because a lot of those uh, top models, that they'd be, you know, some would be a bit hard, wouldn't they? It is a very... They're tough. Yeah, they are. I but think, hang uh, on, I reckon they're tough. You're tougher on yourself. Uh, well, you what you have to be. It's, you have to be very strict with yourself, with your diet and so forth. Mm. I mean, you are the tool of your trade, so you have to make sure your diet's perfect, mm. that you exercise, that you don't drink too much alcohol, that you don't smoke and all the rest. Much we all drank as <laughs> <smoked. laughs> yeah. yeah, partied every night. But yeah. you're supposed. No, I'm only kidding. Well, you know, you do that in a very small amount. Discipline. Yeah. Discipline. You have to be very disciplined. As far as being hard and tough, I don't know. I, I just think you have to be a good businesswoman. Hmm. And the ones that hmm. reach the top these days are extremely fine business people. There's enormous money in it now, isn't oh, it? Huge. Enormous. Look, I really wish that I could have started my modelling career now. now. I ended up a yeah. millionaire, multi-millionaire. When I was modelling, we... But they you didn't still really do modelling now. Why don't you, don't you want to model now? A bit old. No, you're oh, not. Oh, right. Yeah. 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 Fabulous. No, I don't go along with that now. <laughs> I reckon a lot of models retire too early because you've got to look at now that 65% of the world population is 45 and over. That's right. So who's modelling for them? Well, yeah, exactly. And women are looking after themselves. They're looking great yeah, as they go true. into middle age, aren't they? You know, I did this... Uh, are we allowed to talk about commercials by name? Yeah, yeah. Yes, I did an Oil of Ulang commercial when I was about 36. I use that all the time. Uh, when you were what? When I was about 36. You're and not even 36 now, are you? Oh, yes. <laughs> are you really? <laughs> flattering me. <laughs> no, I think you. looks about 26. Oh, thank you. Yeah. It's lighting. I mean, love you see someone... No, yeah, <laughs> she's <laughs> fabulous. Yeah. That's, but I think it's the people that... that you know, choose who, who they're going to photograph that dictate to yeah. the rest of us what we're going yeah. to see. Was that you, you in the bath? Were... Was that you in the bath and you were well of you, mate? I wasn't Sit back no, in I your wasn't chair. In a bath. It was the shower. That, <laughs> what was it? It was a Top Gun send up, and uh, there were a lot of helicopters. And you remember that? Yes, yes. Uh, don't yeah. I know you from somewhere? And you says, us. weren't you but, um, Bubsy in the yeah. third grade or That's something? Right. And that, uh, see, the I got lots of letters from all over the world from older women in their all through their forties saying, "Thank goodness, there's someone who's obviously not seventeen yeah. advertising a product who's mm -hmm. that's meant to be used for women who that's are right. over thirty. Yeah. And then uh, I, we did the ad in 1988 or 89, whatever. And then after that, they brought out, especially in Australia, a series of oil of yeah. ads with much younger women, mm. 16, 17 year olds. And I don't know, just my personal opinion, I don't think it quite works with uh, the younger girls advertising no. products. Well. No, because so it's you, for so an older skin. Yeah. Well, they're not into that at that age. They're more into kissing and cuddling and doing all that, just whacking gunk on them, aren't they? You know? Oh, well, they don't have to do a thing at that <laughs> Well, that's age, right. They've they? got I that mean... lovely naturalness, yeah. you know? Yeah. Like me, I use oil of you, laugh. I can tell. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> was, it, was it a natural for you to move into acting? Well, um, not really. No, I mean, lots of people say, is it, it, is it a natural move? Is it, mm. you know, it seems to make sense to go from one, of the, one to the other because you're used to cameras and so mm. forth. But in you actual fact, talk. it's very, very different. Yeah. And it's pretty scary to go into movies. And again, so strange. This keeps happening to me all my life. I got asked to do it. I didn't choose it. Um, there was a casting lady that used to use me for a lot of ads because I think I did about 55 or something when I was um, modelling. Mm. And she said, look, um, I think it's time for you to get into... Um, acting, and I just kept saying, no, 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 I'm mm -hmm. too scared of it, I'm not trained. And um, she said, then she came up with a project, Mad Max, and she said, look, there's only seven lines in the whole yeah. movie, That's please cool. do it, you'd be perfect for it. 
And uh, so I did it, and that started the ball rolling. Started job. How many movies you made now? I think I made about five or six. Yeah. Um, a lot of TV soapies as what well. What Bond? Soapies. They always give the ladies funny names in Bond. What, who were you? <laughs> Rublevich. Another funny name. <laughs> <Rublevich. laughs> yeah. yeah. That was that with was, Timothy yeah. Dalton, wasn't it? Heavens knows what that really means in with, Russian. Yeah. Probably yeah. Old dog or something. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Was that with Timothy Dalton? It was, yes. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, and he's a good sort. I tell you what. Yeah, he's a good-looking bloke. Married. Isn't he? Is he married? Actually, he's a really. No he seems just from the articles. He's always with his wife and the kids and traveling. He's a real with them family mate, much like yeah. Mel Gibson. Did you yeah. kiss him? Oh, I wish. Didn't no, you kiss him in the movie? No, unfortunately not. No. No. Now, listen. This yeah. new movie is coming out in America first. Yeah. What's it called? It's called Signal One. That's with and Christopher um, Atkins. Christopher Atkins and Mark and Jacko. I was going to say Marco. Mark Jackson. Jacko. Yeah. Jacko. I had to do a, a love scene with Jacko last Jacko? week. Jacko? Yeah. Did you laugh? Did he take no, his... I didn't. No, <laughs> oh, I didn't. I didn't take... look down. I was... Oh, what's it like? What he didn't take his teeth out, I was going to say, he? what's it? I thought you were going to say, what's it like? Oh, it's great to work with him. Did he no, take his teeth out? No, I was going to ask that. I could imagine. <laughs> he didn't take his teeth out. No, he didn't. But his teeth did get caught in my hair. I started Jacko. Oh, no. I started Jacko in the business. And the first night I put him on television, he took his teeth out live. He did He took him out on TV, didn't he? Oh. Mm. Yeah. Oh, he's shocking. No, he's a good bloke. He's one of the, yeah, no, he was great. He was really, really lovely. He's a big we, pussycat, I, really. He is. See, yeah. he's the most charming, lovely man. We had to do this sex scene. We were both terrified because he'd never done one, and I'd only ever done one before. No clothes on? No clothes on. And oh. um, it's pretty scary stuff. Oh, imagine. No teeth and no clothes. <laughs> oh. no, he's all right. He's built all right, Jacko, isn't he? You know. Oh, yeah, he's got Football a fantastic ball. body. Really, yeah. really good body. <laughs> He'll get yeah. me for this. <laughs> we will, too. <laughs> yeah. But we were both terrified for ten minutes, and then after that it was fine. We just got into it. and It's yeah. simulated. Yeah. It's not real. Yeah. Simulated. <laughs> now, you, you can't... What do you, do? you have nothing on at all? You have nothing on. Mm. A bit of a worry. Well, don't tell him, please, Virginia. Don't <laughs> tell him. Only <laughs> eggs him on, darling. I get excited. Yeah, I know you No, would. but you don't. That's well, what he I would. said. Excuse I would. me. I would. He would. Yeah. <laughs> he would. I think I would. <laughs> um, you can't tell us anything about the plot of this because it, it gives away the ubi doobie and so just don't say anything. Yeah, well, I can say that it's... Um, it's a really good action thriller. Yeah. It's a cop thriller. It's kind of like, well, I think it's a bit like Lethal Weapon. The mm. two very different characters, oh, yeah. both, both paid det detectives. I mean, Jacko plays the, the real tough Aussie Ocker detective and Christopher mm. plays a more sort of svelte American detective. And they're trying to solve a crime, but I can't tell you about my mm. character. Mm. Yeah, but it's a great... Good role movie. for female oh, oh, brilliant. Now, listen, what happens mm -hmm. if this gets released in America and then they ask you to do stuff over there? You just go, do you? I'll be over there in a flash. Well, it's on in, yeah. in the States first, isn't it? Yeah. yeah. Oh, look, I'd love, I'd love it. So what's next great. for you? Because that's done now. Well, um, I've got it. We're doing a pilot for the mo at the moment yeah. called The Whole Truth, which is short for ho The Holistic Truth. Because I, I did, I took a year off last year and did homeopathy and naturopathy and herbal medicine. It's a four-year course and I did one year of it. Yeah. And um, I've decided to defer just for this year so I can get mm. some acting. Anyway, there's a, a series coming up. Um, and what we do is look at the different types of... Um, natural healing modalities. We were like, talking about that mm. the other day. Mm. I think it's time for it on TV. The yeah. first one will be on naturopathy. I'll be hosting. Oh, yeah. great. Next one will be on uh, homeopathy. Next one will be on acupuncture and stuff like that. And we just look into it, the history of it, yeah. how it works. And it's mm. interesting, isn't it, all of it? Oh, look, it's You know, I just realised, if you married John Jude, you'd be Hey Jude. <laughs> Wouldn't you? Oh, no. Is that H-E-Y? That's unusual, isn't it? It is. It means hello in Swedish. I was going to say, are you Swedish or Latvian? Probably a bit of both, I do. Yeah, because you've got those lovely yeah. European things. Yeah. No, you're a good sort, isn't she? Oh. Yeah, she's yeah. fabulous. Yeah, got a good you. face. Yeah. Yeah. And you're not too old. Not bad <laughs> Life begins at 40. Oh, good. Yeah. She's not 40 yet. Yeah. Well, I, to I told you, though. Not it definitely does. begins Life there. Life begins at 40. Varicose veins, blood <laughs> pressure, everything. That's, that's in his yeah. case. In our yeah. case, ah, we right. just get on with it. Thanks, Virginia. Thank you very much.